the approach that uses incomplete sequence information to amplify a target gene as inverse PCR. In this case a sequence of part of a long DNA molecule, say a chromosome, is known. The objective is to extend the analysis along the DNA molecule into the unknown regions. To synthesize the primers for PCR, the unknown target sequence must be flanked by two regions of known sequence. The present situation is exactly the opposite of that. To circumvent this problem, the target molecule of DNA is converted into a circle. Going around a circle brings you back to the beginning. In effect, even though only one small stretch of sequence is known, the circular form allows you to have that one region on both sides of the target sequence. A restriction enzyme, usually one that recognizes a 6-base sequence, is used to make the circle. This enzyme must not cut into the known sequence, therefore, eventually, this enzyme will cut either upstream or downstream from the known region. The resulting fragment will have a known sequence first, the known sequence in the middle, followed by more unknown sequence. The two ends of the fragment will have compatible sticky ends that are easily ligated together to make a circle of DNA. Two primers corresponding to the known region and facing outwards around the circle are used for PCR. Synthesis of new DNA will proceed around the circle clockwise from one primer and counterclockwise from the other. Overall, inverse PCR gives multiple copies of a segment of DNA containing some DNA to the right and some DNA to the left of the original known region.